fellow diamond painting addicts and welcome back to Diamond Painting Anonymous. I'm Daphne and I'm here today to kit up some more canvases for my 30 by 30 challenge in September. So uh, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Um, my 30 by 30 challenge is a challenge that I've set for myself to see if in the month of September, if I can complete 30 30 by 30 kits. So uh, part of the challenge is that most of them have to be full round kits. This is not going to be 30 partials that I'm completing. So um, I've already kitted up three other kits. Um, I have these three to do. My goal is to have about 10 of them kitted up and ready to go before a September 1st hits. That way I can minimize the amount of time that I have to spend during the month of September kitting up, kitting down, moving things around, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, I have three kits kind of separated with the various things that I need and I'm just going to jump in. So two of them are going to get kitted up in my um, 28 four space containers. I've got two of those and then those are all full. So then this one is going to get kitted up in my Harbor Freight, which is kind of weird because this is way bigger than I need. Um, but I think it will work the best of the storage that I have left. So that's what I'm going to do. I've got a couple more kinds of storage left before I have to start jumping into my 60 bottle cases. So this is where I'm at. Um, so yeah, it probably made more sense with only 20 to kit this one up into the smaller, but one of those, this, this kit here has 28 colors and that's how many slots I have. So I don't even know if that's going to all fit in there. I may have some bags left over. We'll see. So I think I'm going to start with this guy in the middle here, here first. So let me move everybody else kind of out of the way. And then I can get started. So I've got some extra stickers here in case I need those. I've got my tray. I've got my storage. Um, I've got a sticker already cut out so that I can put it in my uh, log book. So one of the things that I do when I purchase kits is that I always take a screenshot of what the artwork looks like so that I can save that to my computer and then I will print it out on sticker paper. I just buy blank sticker paper, sheets of sticker paper, and then I can cut it down to size and put it in my log book so that I have it for my log book so that I know when I'm looking back through my log book what the artwork looks like. So let me trim this down first so that it's ready to go in my log book. And generally I will put these in my log book when I start the painting so they're not just kind of floating around. But because I'm going to have several of these kitted up and kind of hanging around before I actually start working on them, I decided what I was going to do was to go ahead and print these out. Then I'm going to stick them in the kit. That way I know which one is which. So here is the kit. Um, and I'm going to lay that off to the side because I need to get out my containers here. And again, this is there. I know they're larger than I need, but you know, you use what you have, right? So I'm going to get these out of here and there are 24 of these and I only need 20. So I'm going to have some left over, obviously. Um, so I'll just put them in the bottom. Now I have also taken my canvas and I have a printer, which you can hear in the background, um, that has a scanner function. So all I do is lay my canvas on the platen of the glass of the scanner and then I scan it in and then I, I crop it out, um, just the section that I need with the schematic on it and then I um, put it in a program where I can, an image program where I can manipulate it and then just print it out. Now, most of the time I just do a one-to-one. -one. You can see 
well, you probably can't, but basically this is the same size as, I mean, it's the same size as the schematic that's on the thing. Sometimes I have to shrink it down. Most of the time I don't. Um, I will just cut, like if this is too big to fit on my containers, I'll cut off the symbols because I don't really use those. I'm more concerned about the actual, or cut off the numbers, not the symbols. I'm more concerned about the symbols than, and the DMC numbers than I am the symbol number. So um, that's generally what I do. So here I've got my drills. Oh, you guys, and I should have cut all these apart. So I don't use these kits. Let me go dump this. Let me get my drills out and separated, and then I will be right back. Don't go anywhere. Okay, so I've got my um, drills separated now. Um, so the first thing I need to do is use my Xyron sticker maker and make my just plain paper into stickers. So we'll see how many of these I get through because I feel like I'm running out and I'm going to have to replace my sticker paper in the Xyron, but we'll see. Okay, so now I've got it run through the Xyron and... Peel that off. Okay, so then I just need to cut off the side here because I want to be able to cut the drills and then I'm going to cut off the top, cut the drills, cut the stickers I mean. So now I've got something to hang on to the bottom and I've got something to hang on to the side while I cut the individual stickers. So. There are a lot of blues in this kit, as you can imagine from the uh, image, blues and yellows and blacks and whites. So, but only 20 colors, so not a huge amount of colors. So that's one of the reasons I chose the Harbor Freight, even though um, it's kind of large and I don't have that many drills for each color. Um, there are a couple of colors that have quite a few drills and the Harbor Freight only has 24 containers. I could have stolen some from another set of the Harbor Freight containers, but I'm just going to do it this way. So now I've got all my individual stickers cut so I can start putting them on my containers. So I'm going to start putting them on the containers. And that's crooked, which I know wouldn't matter to a lot of people, but it matters to me. And also I like doing this part of it, organizing all the drills and getting everything where they're supposed to go. Um, like I said, I know there's quite a few people who would basically just number like Harbor Freight, there's 24 containers. So people would just number them one to 24 and then you never have to number them again as long as you're doing paintings that are less than 24 colors, right? Um, I just like doing this. I like making the stickers. I like putting the stickers on here. I very much, when I diamond paint, diamond paint from the symbols. So it doesn't matter to me that it's number one or number four. What I'm looking at is on my canvas, oh, I need P, oh, I need S or whatever. And so that's what I'm looking for. So. And you'll see once I start putting drills in here, just kind of how overkill this is that I'm using the Harbor Freight. But this is one of the storage containers that I have left. My smaller ones are busy with other um, kits at the moment. So this is what I'm gonna use. Not my preferred way to do it either, but because I'm going to have so many kits kit it up at once. Um, this is just the way it has to be. So, okay. Oh, and I put that on backwards. So let me peel that off and put it on the right way. Okay. And then I'm going to switch gears and do this from the end of the drills and work my way backwards. And the reason that I'm gonna do that is because 
I'm going to be putting my drills in here in DMC order. So I want the drills that are going to be the longest number to be in the bottom of the container so that I can have the higher, you know, number ones, etc. the starting numbers at the top. Does it matter? Probably not, but that's how I want to do it. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay. So let me get these out of the way and then I'm going to grab some and I'm going to start with number 20 and then work my way backwards. And that way they will be on the bottom. Now you can put your drills in a different way. You can put them in sideways so that you can fit more in um, the outside box. Um, of course, you need more than one set of Harbor Freights to do that because this particular set only comes with the 24 individual ones. So, okay, so I'm going to start with number 20. Get that one out of the way. Get all the drills down to the bottom here. And then I can put number 20 here on the bottom. And then, like I said, I'm just going to work my way up. And again, like I said, there's not very many drills of some of these colors. That's okay. Um, you know, like I said, sometimes you just got to make do with the storage that you have. And... While I have other storage, most of the storage that I have is for much bigger canvases because I usually only have, you know, one or two of these small 30 by 30s going on at a time um, because I'm interspersing these with the much larger canvases that I work on. So those do not want to get out of there. Come on. Okay, that's sort of being a pain. Okay, let me get some more of the containers here so I can continue working my way backwards. I just like having them in there like this because I put my stickers on the top. Now, if you were going to put them in a different way, if you wanted yours to set in like this, you could put your stickers down here. You could put them if they were small enough here on the lid. Um, you know, there's lots of options. You do whatever makes the most sense to you. I like having them like this just because I feel like they set nicely in the um, outer container this way and it just makes the most sense to me. But again, you know, this is all about figuring out what works for you and what doesn't. If it works for you to do it like I'm doing it, then great. If it doesn't, then figure out a different way to do it. Um, a lot of it is just trial and error. Sometimes it's just seeing someone else do something and, and going, oh, well, I think that would work better for me. I should do it that way. Um, I know that I personally have seen lots of diamond painters as I'm going through and thinking to myself, oh, that's a genius idea. Why didn't I think of doing it that way? I'm going to start doing that because it's all about whatever makes the most sense for me and the way that I diamond paint. So, um, and you know, some things I think are great ideas, but just don't work for me in the way that I diamond paint. Um, and just realizing I want to do this a different way here because I need these three to set like this. Okay, so maybe I wanna put these. Hmm, let me just reorganize everything here. 20, 18, 18. 
17, 16, 15, there's 14. Okay, now I'm ready for 13. And this is one of the ones you can see this bag is quite full. So this one is going to fill up this. And that's one of the reasons I wanted to use kind of this bigger one because I thought that would be the case. Okay, so now let me do the rest of the stickers here. And get these all on here. Now, I will say, I know a lot of people love the Harbor Freight. For me personally, they're not my favorite. They are useful. They are, if you live in the US, inexpensive. I think this, 20 set of 24 you get 24 individual containers plus the large um holding container for like seven bucks so they're not expensive um that being said again they're not my favorite um i have other kinds of containers that i much prefer over these but i also live in the u.s and have access to them so if you live someplace that you don't have access to these then I think that adds to the, ooh, these are really good because they're not as easily obtainable. So, okay. So there's my bottom layer done. Now let me get these out of the way. Okay, so now I need number 10. As I said, a lot of blues in this kit, as you can see. This number nine is another blue. Okay. Get out of there. Oh, I have miscalculated the number of containers. There should be 24 containers and I need 20, which would mean that four of them would be open, but somehow three of them have, I, maybe I've misplaced one. Maybe there's one. I must have one floating in my other set of Harbor Freights. So I will have to go hunt for it because that doesn't make a lot of sense. Okay, so I need number eight. I'm done with the stickers. I haven't used these in a while and I may have found, um, oh, and I put that one on backwards again. I may have um, stolen one from here to put somewhere else or to use somewhere else. Where would I have put that? Hmm. I'll have to go go hunt for it, like I said, so that I can finish putting this one together. Oops, I want number six. I guess I can finish putting this one together. It doesn't really matter. I just have extra space floating around inside the container, which is fine. Come on, get out of there. Although I do wonder where the other one ran off to because I can't think off of the top of my head where I would have put it. Okay, so there you see, I have all the drills for this particular kit put in this container. I'm going to leave the sticker in here 
and close it up in there so that I know these are the drills that go with this canvas. So I'm going to clean things up a bit, get my next canvas out, get things situated so that I can get up the next one. Don't go anywhere. Okay guys, I'm back and I'm ready to kit up the second of these kits. This is um, the image for this one. It's just this very pretty kind of um, half tone comic book style, I love you. So it came in baggies, which for many people I know, uh, they would just leave them in baggies. However, I don't like working from baggies one and two. A lot of these baggies have holes in them, which is great because that supposedly reduces any static that might be there. However, um, it also means that some of the drills are falling out of the holes, which is not great and I don't wanna lose them. So, so I'm just gonna grab my Xyron. Again, I've already scanned in the schematic and um, printed it out. I've got 19 colors in this particular kit. So I'm just going to make my sticker here or turn my containers into my, not my container, my paper into stickers is the word I'm looking for. So let me just make all, sure all of that is sticky. Peel this off. Okay, and then again, I'm going to cut off this side because I don't need this side. I'm going to cut off the top because I don't need that. And then I have the sides and the end to hold on to while I cut these into individual stickers. So this schematic is a little bit smaller, even though once again, it's a one-to-one -one size with what's on the canvas. Um, it's a little bit smaller, which is fine because I'm putting these on the, um, the small 28 slot container. So the fact that it's smaller actually works out good for me, but some people might not want to fiddle with stickers that are this small. And again, you know, if you want to just label yours one through 28 and then never have to relabel them, that's certainly an option and you do what makes you feel good. So I'm going to, I think I have enough room for the first three. See that one's leaning over a bit. I didn't get it quite centered. So let me try again. Um, this first row here drills one through four. I think there are few enough drills that they will all fit in one container. If I get to one where I think I need more than one, I might leave a space so that I know it's that color. And that's crooked. Not that I'm ever gonna get them on perfectly straight, but I try. Okay, so drills number one. Now I am just gonna pour these, so we'll see how well I do. <laughs> Historically, sometimes this doesn't go very well for me, but we'll see. I'm gonna try not to spill them everywhere. And this one I had folded over because again, that hole, while helping to make sure that there was no static, you can see, also means that sometimes drills fall out. So while I appreciate the no static, I really don't want to lose the drills before I've even started painting. Come on, get out of there. Okay. All right. Then we move into the reds because of course this canvas is pretty much nothing but red. So those went in there much nicer. All right, and then number four. I think this is one of the colors I have the most of. Ooh, am I gonna get them all in one? Hmm, it doesn't look like it. Okay, so a good thing that I have room, I'm just gonna go ahead and not make that completely full. And then because these are all attached, ooh, there's a drill left over from a previous kit. 
these are all attached. I'm just going to put that in there and then I will know that it's number four. Come on, get in there. There we go. Okay. So, oh, and I missed one. Come on, little guy. They're so cantankerous sometimes, aren't they? Just get in the container where I want you to go. Okay, five, six, and seven should all fit in one container. I'm actually really excited about this kit, even though it's a lot of reds. I really love that comic kind of halftone pop art cartoon style, comic book style. So I'm excited to see how this one is going to turn out. All right, the number six. I do seem to be having a lot less static, so maybe those holes in the bags are serving their purpose, even though they're a tad annoying. Not as annoying as the static, I will admit. Having to pick up a few loose drills certainly beats having to deal with the static. Okay, so there's number seven. Let's see, eight, nine, and ten. Eight might need more than one slot. So let me just start with this one. I'm going to wait and see if I need more than one slot for eight before I stick the labels on and have to move them around. Ooh, yep, it looks like it. I have plenty of room. I only have 19 colors and I've got 28 slots, so I'm just going to not worry about trying to force everything to be in one like I might if I had 28 colors and only 28 slots. Okay, and I'm pretty sure nine and 10 will each go in one. And then I'm halfway through. Woohoo! This is a pretty pink color. Okay. Number 10. Let's see if these all go in. I think they will. I gotta say, this is much nicer than the last one. where I was dealing with a bunch of static. It's funny how that part sticks in your head, isn't it? That the kit with a bunch of static was quite a while ago, but I still cringe because, oof, it was a lot of static. Okay, so here's all the drills I have left. Move those down, put my stickers on. So 11, 12, and 13. Looks like they'll all fit in one. So I'll just go, 14 might need two, but it will be at the end of this row. So I can go ahead and put the sticker on. And then if I need to move to the next row to finish filling it up, I can. Okay, so number 11. And that one's going to make a liar out of me and I shouldn't have put all those on. Gosh darn it. Okay. So. Let me peel these off. I'm just going to stick that one there for right now. These can move over one. That's one of the things I really like about having the repositionable stickers, sticker paper is that it's not a big deal if I need to do that. Um, I can move things around and they will still stick on the way that I need them to, even if I've had to remove them. And it doesn't leave a bunch of residue behind. So I used to have to clean off my containers quite a bit um, because of leftover residue, because of companies who, you know, I would use the pre-printed stickers, I still do, um, still will. I have old kits that have pre-printed stickers that are not really removable, um, but I will use them just because it saves me the time and the hassle of having to make them myself. And 
sometimes they don't come off all that cleanly. So 14 is going to go all in one. I thought I would need two for that one, but no. All right, let's see if I need two for 15 because it looks kind of full as well. And then I think all of the rest of them I'll be able to get in just one container. Let's see, that's going to be, I'm just going to put it all in a second one because I can. Or, you know, I'm going to dump them everywhere as usual. Okay, let's get all those in there. And then let's see if 16. After 16, I'm fairly certain all the rest of them will be fine. Sometimes it's just how the bag is laying there. Makes it look more full than it actually is. Okay, yep, no problem getting that in one. Okay. So I've only got three left. And I know these will all fit in one. Whoops, almost put that on there upside down. Okay. I will say sometimes making my own stickers this way, whoa, that's really crooked, is not that great because sometimes scanning them in, um, the colors and things do not always translate really well during the scan and so it can make some of your symbols hard to see. I usually can figure it out because I keep mine in DMC order. So, and if you, you know, keep yours in symbol or number order, it's probably not that hard to figure out. But that's trash because I'm done with my stickers. All right. Last color. Not quite sure why this was in a bigger bag when it wasn't that many drills, but maybe they just ran out. Okay, there. All right, there we go. Let me clean off my trash. Okay, so there you can see I've got all these pretty red and purple and you guys there's no white so it looks like there's some white on the canvas but that color is actually this very light pink so i'm actually really excited so again i'm going to leave that sticker in there for my logbook, and i'm going to put that with the canvas so i know which canvas these drills are for because these are all getting stacked up and waiting for me to start on September 1st. So uh, let me put this one away. I'm going to grab the last canvas that I want to kit up today and I will be right back. So don't go anywhere. Okay, guys, I'm back. So this is the canvas that I'm going to be kitting up this time. This cute little elephant with the balloons. So let me set this off to the side. And again, I'm going to be using my 28 slot containers. I've got my little sticker that I'm going to keep with the kit so that I know what drills they're for. Now, this particular kit, I have a large number of drills. You can see I've got two bags of number 25. Um, however, I'm going to go ahead because I have 28 colors. I'm going to go ahead and kit it up in this 28 slot container knowing that I don't have um, enough slots probably, but I'm going to do it this way anyway, just because I think, well, it's the container that I have and I think it makes the most sense for me to do it this way, even though I may run out of slots and have to have some extra bags floating around, which is admittedly not the greatest thing, but, you know, again, I'm trying to make do here because uh, I only have so many storage options and I need to do what I can. Now, where is number four? Am I missing number four? That's 13. 
Yep, there's number four. Okay, wasn't missing it, just misplaced it. Okay, so I again have my stickers, my schematic here that I've made into, I've printed out so I can make it into a sticker. Let's see if my Xyron lasts. I'm getting close to the end of my roll here for the sticker maker, and I'm afraid every time I make a sticker that I'm gonna run out. See how thin that's getting? I maybe, maybe one more sticker out of it. We'll see. You'll probably, the next time I do some of these kit ups, you'll see me um, have to stop and change it out because I've run out of the sticker making paper that is now stuck to me. Okay. Okay, so again, I'm going to cut this off on the side so that I can cut the stickers. Cut off the top. I don't need these two pieces. Now, again, I made these stickers by scanning in the schematic. Uh, this particular schematic did not have the symbols numbered in that, you know, it didn't number them one, two, three, et cetera, to 28. Um, it just has the symbols and the DMC codes, which is fine with me. Um, DMC codes are what I pay attention to anyway. I don't pay attention to the number of the symbols, even if they do number them. Uh, but because I'm putting this on sm such small containers, I likely, had they been there, would have cut them off anyway just so that I could make sure that my stickers are going to fit on the containers that I want to use. Um, the other benefit to scanning it in and doing it yourself is that you can, um, you know, resize these if you want to. So, you know, if you have a really big canvas and you want to size them down for your storage, or if the schematic is kind of small and you want to size it up so that you can see it better, um, you know, you can do what you want with it. There's lots of options. Now, this particular one actually came with an inventory sheet. So what I could have done was just taken the symbols that are already printed here and cut them out and then use that to make my sticker sheet. I chose not to do that because I wanted the symbols as they appear on the canvas with the DMC codes so that when I finish, uh, if I want to save these drills, I know what the DMC code is to de-kit them. Um, and I wouldn't have been able to fit all of this with the big space here. Um, I would have had to do some, you know, reconfiguring and finagling with in a program anyway. And just to save myself the time of having to do that, it was much easier to just grab the canvas, stick it in my scanner and do it this way. Um, it actually saved me time to do it this way, which is not always the case, but was the case this time. So now I do have to be careful because since I don't have the numbers on them, I don't want to get confused about which ones are which. So I want to pay attention and make sure because I have the DMC codes here, but here I have a number so this is one of those weird kits where on this schematic, which is not the one I scanned in, they are numbered with the symbol, but then on this one, which is the one I scanned in, I've got the symbol and the DMC codes. So I just wanna make sure that I'm matching symbols with the DMC with the right numbered bag. So I'm gonna set this over here so I can kind of see everything. So number one is 168. As long as I'm going in order, it shouldn't be a big deal. Um, but you never know with me, you know, I get to talking and I'm not paying attention and who knows what kind of mistakes I can make. So, okay, get out of there. Come on. All right, then number two. is DMC 224. All right, number three is DMC 304. You know, I hadn't considered it because I was so focused on getting all these kitted up, but I might have 
ABs of some of these colors and all these various kits that I might want to pull and use in some of these. I don't usually worry about adding ABs into kits this small, but it might be fun. I'll have to have to go take a gander. The reason it made me think of it is I'm pretty sure I have some 310 or some ABs in this particular color. And it's kind of a weird gray color that doesn't always get used a lot. So I could use my, my ABs. And see, this is one of these where it's very hard to actually see the symbol. Even on the canvas, I'm not sure what that is. I think it's a K, maybe. No, oh, it's an N, I think. So this may definitely be one that I'm using a light board for. I think all of these will go in one bag or one container. One slot. It's not really a slot. I don't know why people call it that. I don't know what else you would call it though. One spot maybe. Okay, so that's number five. Number six is 356. This is a pretty color. I'm just trying to look at these on the cam the symbols on the canvas as well as I'm doing this to make sure that I'm kind of, like I said, getting everything in the right place where it goes. While I appreciate having these cute little numbered bags, it would be nice if they also had the DMC code on them. I mean, I'm sure they do that because they fill multiple kits. And so, you know, what's the DMC for number seven in this kit is gonna be different than the DMC in a different number, and a number seven in a different kit, but. If I had my wish, you know, so, speaking of wishes, guys, somebody posted recently about the dream box. Does everybody know what the dream box is? I had someone show it to me, oh, probably a year or so ago. And once we get settled in Canada, I might think about getting one. But for now, it's just another piece of furniture I'd have to lug around. But I admit, for someone who does a lot of crafting, it is a dream box. It is pretty amazing. Okay, so I'm on number nine, which is 552. Anyway, I guess they were having some kind of giveaway or something. It's probably over by now, but. Okay, let me get those out of the way. Number 10 is 646. And I just dumped those everywhere because of course I did. At least those went in nicely. Get my scissors out of the way here. And number 11 is here. Maybe I'll get away with all of these only needing one, except for that number 25, that is the background color. We'll see. I'm also curious how come some of these have these really pretty printed numbers on them like this, and then I have some that just have a random like number stuck to them. Did they run out of number 13 bags that day or something? Okay, I think all of those will go in one. Fourteen. Fifteen. I mean, I understand if they're filling, you know, thousands or hundreds of thousands of kits a day with drills. Have you guys ever actually gone out and like looked up 
there's some videos out there on like what the inside of a diamond painting factory looks like. It's actually pretty interesting. Um, I found it pretty interesting that there aren't more videos about it. Um, you'd think every diamond painting company would have their own, but I don't know, I guess some of them want to keep like trade secrets or whatever, but I also found it interesting that the couple of videos I did manage to find have been used by multiple companies, which, you know, I found funny because it's like, are you guys actually all these different companies using the same manufacturing plant? I mean, that's certainly possible, but only certain people allowed to go in and get the footage. It's kind of interesting. So number 16 is the ampersand in 900. So I'm still on track with my colors and my DMC codes. So that's good. Didn't get off track while I was talking and not paying attention. Okay. So 17, 18, 19, 20. I think those will all fit in one container. If I get the stickers on their street. Does that bother anyone else or is it just me? Like, I know they're not perfectly straight, but I try to get them on there as straight as I can. My husband makes fun of me, but I remind him that he likes the fact that I'm organized because then when he can't find something, I generally know where it is. What's that? That meme? Nothing is truly lost unless your mom can't find it. My husband's so funny too because, you know, we've been married for a while and he'll look at me and say, do you? And I'll say, nope. You don't know what I was going to say. And then I'll, you know, say what I thought he was going to say. How'd you know I was going to say that? Or he'll say, you don't know me. Mm, apparently I do. Or have you seen my, and I'll tell him where whatever it is he's looking for is located and then he'll go get it. Well, how'd you know that's what I was going to say? Hmm? I jokingly tell him I'm psychic. Got to keep him on his toes somehow, don't I? Okay, and then number 20 is 958. Is that what that says? Yes, okay. Just double checking before I get any further. Okay, so I've got all the way through 20, you guys. All right, making progress here. All right. Now... 21, 22, 23, and 24 are all going to fit in one container. And then I think for the last ones, I'm going to work my way backwards because I'm fairly certain that 25 and 26 are not going to all fit in just one slot here. So... And I want to make sure that I get all 28 colors in here. If I have a couple of extra bags of 25 and 26 floating, that's okay. I'll just make sure that they go with this canvas so I know what goes where. So 21 is Z, which is 959, which is this one. Oh, I have an escapee. Darn it. Come on, get out of there. Might as well all escape, I guess. Okay, and then 22. Whoops. Guys, I'm getting to the end here and they're just going everywhere. They're getting crazy. Getting really crazy, they're just jumping everywhere. Okay, and then 23 is 37, 43. These all, oh, you guys. I was doing so well. Now they're just going to be really irritating. Get out of there. Okay, 
Come on. Always got to be one. Slide, darn it. Okay. And then 24. Let's see if I can manage to spill these everywhere. Come on, get out of there. Oh, I almost made it. But nope. Okay. So now, because I know I've got two bags of 25 and 26 is very full, 27 and 28, I'm going to work my way from the back. So, very small piece of one I don't need there. And here's 27. 26, and 25. Now, again, I know a lot of you like to work from baggies. If you do, that's awesome and amazing. Good for you. I just spill way too often, even with baggies. Oops, and there's another leftover drill. Should make sure I get mine cleaned out a little bit better keep finding leftovers. Okay, come on, get out. Ugh, these last ones are going to be a pain. Okay, this one, whoops, these are trying to escape. See how they're above the seal? Okay. Ugh. All right. I admit defeat. Just, just going to dump them all out here anyway. Put them all in here. Come on. Clearly they're going to be annoying. Okay, so 26 is quite full. So I will just fill up as many as I think I can get in here without overfilling it. And then I will have this bag floating around with this container. Okay, and then number 25. Let's see if I can get one bag in here. I probably can't. Nope. So let me just get those few that spilled out in here. There's the one escapee. Okay, so I have a bag and a half left of these, which is fine. Um, again, I also have part of 26 left over, but so here are the drills kitted up for this one. Again, I'm going to leave the sticker with this kit so that I know that these are the drills for this particular kit. So I've got my elephant. I've got my uh, I love you and I've got my adorable panda with the moon all kitted up and ready to go. So thanks so much for joining me today, guys. Um, I'm excited to get started. Can't wait for September to get here. I do have some other big projects I'm working on. Hopefully I will finish those before September 1st hits. But in the meantime, I'm working towards getting ready for that event or challenge that I've set for myself. If you guys want to do this alongside with me, you are more than um, welcome to do that. This is not an official event or anything that I'm going to be doing. There's no prizes or anything. There's just going to be me challenging myself. And then hopefully at the end of the month, the satisfaction of me achieving the goal that I've set for myself. So. Thanks for watching today, guys. Before you leave, don't forget to do all the things. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and hit that bell notification icon so that you can be informed of future uploads. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching.